estimate the storage required for Google Maps? Yes. Today we'll discuss this question. As usual, let's start with the clarifying question first. The first question which we need to clarify is about the storage. What does it mean by storage? So by storage, we need to calculate the GBs or TBs of the data or information which Google Maps needs to store at the backend. Coming on to second question, since Google Map has so many views, there is a default view, terrain view, satellite view or street view, right? So is there anything particular view we want to consider here or we are not bounded by this? Why this question is important? Because let's take an example of the street view. The data required for the street view will be humongous because lot of images will be required to create a 360 degree view, right? So for this, let's assume that we are only thinking about the normal or the default view. The third question which we need to ask is about the type of sources we are considering here. Since in the default view, there are street names, location names, logos, location images, right? So are we considering only text or images are also included in this? So let's assume that our interviewer wants us to calculate everything. The fourth question which we need to ask is about the users generated content that is UGC. Do we need to think about the UGC as well? Because for every location other than the owner, external people can also put a lot of images in terms of rating and reviews, right? So there are way more than four to five photos which are generally put by owner. There are 1000, 1500 photos for a popular relation also. So for this question, let's assume that we are not considering any user generated content. Also the final question, is there any constraint regarding the geography for which we are considering? So let's assume that for the sake of the simplicity, we are considering India as our geography. Now let's summarize whatever we have discussed till now. We need to calculate the amount of storage that is required to store all type of data excluding the user generated content in the Google Maps in, for India, right? So this is our question. If you want to learn more about product strategy, technological trend, first principle thinking, problem solving, you can follow me on LinkedIn. So I keep posting a lot of articles there. So my LinkedIn link is in the pinned comment. Now let's discuss the high level equation and the walkthrough of the solution. We need to calculate the amount of storage, right? So total map storage would be the storage for the street names, storage for the location name, storage for the location images and the storage for the location icon or the logo, right? Now let's go a little bit deeper into the street name. So storage for the street name will be equal to the total number of streets multiplied by the size of the one street name, right? So to get the total number of streets, what it will be, will it will be equal to the total number of streets in the major cities and total number of streets in the minor cities. Since villages in the town have less number of streets and also not many streets in the villages will be tagged on the Google map, right? That is why I'm ignoring villages. If you want to take into consideration, you can take that. So the total number of streets in the major cities will be equal to the total number of major cities multiply by the average number of street in the major cities. Similarly, we will do in the minor cities as well. Now let's put those numbers to get the storage required for the street name. I am assuming 100 major cities in India, given that we have 28 state and on average three to four major cities per state. Also, I'm assuming there to be around 1000 street in one major city. See, all these are very sensitive number based on my observation and understanding. We can do another estimate to just estimate the number of streets in the major city, right? But that's not the crux of the problem. That is why I'm taking an assumption here. Another important thing is the interviewer is way more interested in your thinking process rather than these numbers. So you have to ensure that the numbers are not way off in the orders of magnitude difference, right? I am telling you all these because in the comment section, I've seen many people talking about why have you taken 20%, why not 25%. It will not matter in an interview a lot. Just make sure that your numbers are not so off in the orders of magnitude while doing any assumptions, right? So 100 cities and 1000 street in the major city. Coming on to minor city, I'm assuming every major city, there would be around 10 minor city. That will give you around 1000 minor cities in India and assuming streets in the minor city to be half of the major city. That is 500 streets in the minor city. This will give you an around 1 lakh streets in the major cities and around 5 lakh streets in the minor cities. So total number of streets in the major and the minor city will be around 6 lakhs. And per street you will require the storage of 1 KB, right? Because this is just a text. So the total storage for the street name 
would be around 600 MB, right? Now let's come on to the storage required to store the location name, right? Similarly, like street name, here we will calculate the location names in both the major cities and the minor city. The only difference here is the location would include your residential location, apartment and complexes and the commercial properties as well like restaurants as cafes. Here I have given one more factor in the location that is the percentage location tag because not all the location will be tagged on Google map, right? Definitely the percentage of tagging would be much higher in the major cities than the minor cities. So let's start putting those numbers. So from the previous slide, we assume 100 major cities here for the location. Again, it's a long estimate, but I'm taking a proxy of number of household, assuming 50 lakhs to be the population of a major city and the household size is four. Assuming that 50% of that will be of all the business or institutional right? Here for the major city, I'm assuming 80% of the location that are tagged on the Google map. This will give you around 170 million locations in the major city. Similarly, in the minor cities, there are 1000 minor cities, five, I am assuming 5 lakh to the population of the minor cities and around 50% that will be tagged on the Google map. That will give you another 90 million locations. So total number of locations that would be around 260 million and again considering 1 KB of the size, it will give you around 260 GB of storage that is required to store the location name in the major and the minor cities. Now coming on to the location logos and the location image storage, right? Location logo storage will be equal to the total number of location multiplied by the percentage of the location having logos multiplied by the logo size, right? Similarly, for the location image storage, that will be equal to the total number of location multiplied by percentage of the location having images multiplied by the image size, right? If we put all the numbers here, we have already computed that the total number of location in the previous slide to be around 260 million. Also, I'm assuming 20% of the location will have the logo and that to be skewed towards more of the institutional or commercial buildings, right? The size of the logo I consider to be around 50 KB. So the total size will be coming around 2.6 terabyte. Now coming on to the location image storage. Similarly, we have 260 million locations. Like above, I'm assuming 20% of the location will have the images. And on average, I'm assuming location to have more than five image or around five image that to five MB each. It's on a bit higher side. You can assume to be on the lower side around three to four MB. These are not the user generated images. If we have to consider user generated images, then it, the number would be around 100, 150. I'm only taking the images which is put by the owner. So the total size is coming around to be 1.3 petabyte, right? If you add all the size that will be coming around 1.3 petabyte only because this is the large chunk of the storage that is required. So the most important thing in this question is to have the thought process and the structured approach. I hope you have learned something new from this video. I will meet you into the next one. Till then keep learning and keep watching.